Welcome back to the One API channel. I'm writing code and my performance bottleneck is a specific function. It is pretty easy with SQL and One API Data Parallel C++ compiler to just take this piece of code and offload it to a GPU, for example. Yes, the same C++ code. Take a look at the relevant videos on SQL and Data Parallel C++, but I have here some custom logic. I do want to offload it from the CPU, but I do not want the GPU, or the GPU does not support well these specific operations. How about we just take that specific piece of code and offload it to an FPGA and get all the benefits FPGA has to offer, like an on-chip memory, low latency I.O. and more. You do not need to know RTL or be an FPGA expert. Let me tell you all about the FPGA add-on for the One API base toolkit. In previous videos, we've talked about the One API components. We mentioned the multi-device, multi-vendor open spec libraries that can now work on multiple devices, CPU, GPU, and others, what we call XPUs, and are packed into toolkits. For example, the Intel One API base toolkit. You can start developing for FPGA with the base toolkit. There are lots of materials online. We have a video dedicated to the base toolkit, and I'll leave you the link at the end of this video. First step is to write your code and make sure it is functional. You can verify that by running this code on the CPU. Once you're happy with the functionality of the code, we can run multiple FPGA optimization reports to understand the expected frequency, the performance bottleneck, the FPGA area utilization, and more. You can repeat stage one and rearrange or rewrite the code until you're happy with the reports. All of this could be done using the base toolkit on a CPU machine in minutes. Once you're happy with the reports, it's time to compile the code and generate an FPGA bitstream. For this, you will need to install the FPGA add-on. And this process can take many hours. You can also run it on the Intel Dev Cloud. And finally, we can run the code on the FPGA hardware, your hardware, or on the Intel Dev Cloud system. A great capability here is that you can use VTune for profiling the data exchange between CPU and FPGA for profiling the FPGA global memory and pipes performance and more. So you can understand and fix performance issues that cannot be spotted by the static analysis reports of stage two. Let's see it all happening using a simple example. I'm using a Jupyter notebook example. We're using SQL and the Intel FPGA extensions. And the actual code we wanna offload is here. You can see the loops, it's basically a half transform. The only difference is that this code, this kernel, will be submitted to run on a device queue. And this device queue is being selected by the device selector, which will choose the FPGA emulator that comes with the base toolkit, or if it does not exist, the host, our CPU. File is here and I'm compiling it on the Intel Dev Cloud for the FPGA emulator. The device code, the code that will eventually run on the FPGA, needs special treatment. This is a code that we need to optimize so the FPGA will meet our required power performance targets. This is a code that we'll use to create the bitstream from. Handling the host code is easier and faster, so it makes sense sometimes to split the code into separate files check out the documentation on how to do it. And I'm basically compiling the code. I got here two C++ code files, the main for the host and the kernel for the FPGA, and I'm generating the reports. For the reports, you have to understand something about FPGA and programming for FPGA. For example, this is a loops analysis. You choose a loop, you can see the actual code and the cycles between each of the loops iterations. This one, for example, has to be fixed. System view, the control flow, and the corresponding code. Area analysis, the static partition is here to operate the host device interaction and execution. It takes about 20% of the area. The actual kernel code is consuming only one to 5% 
of each of the area categories is a small logic. And the summary report will give you the bottom line of the expected clock frequency, resources utilization, and more. Based on these reports, we can go back and improve the code using a full set of techniques like banking, loop unrolling, using local memory versus global one, and more. You'll find many such examples in our One API samples and documentation. And now we can generate the bitstream. We need the specific version of the FPGA add-on to match our hardware and running the application. Here, I'm using an FPGA system in the Intel Dev Cloud, but you can, of course, do it locally. So this is probably the easiest way I'm aware of to write custom code and offload it to an FPGA. Use the base toolkit for code verification on an FPGA emulator and generate optimization reports. Use the FPGA add-on to generate bitstream to your FPGA. Enjoy, subscribe, Thank you.